Welcome back to the Blood Moon campaign, everybody. We're just coming fresh off of having watched the Triple I Initiative stream in which they announced there's going to be a new game mode for Darkest Dungeon 2. And on top of that, it's looking very much like the Crimson Court's going to make an appearance in Darkest Dungeon 2 as well. It's like we planned it. So that's pretty exciting. For now, though, we got to get back to our Blood Moon campaign and see if we can make some more progress today. It's been going really, really well lately which almost certainly tees up a failure coming up, but it's been, what, like, yeah, 10 weeks since we last lost a character? And a Kami Terrier, a veteran Houndmaster, who've been leveling up people pretty uh, pretty successfully lately. Let's see what else we can do today. Also crank up the volume just another smidge here. Hold on. There we go. What are we gonna do today? A fulminating profit available with the Coven Signet. It's super sold on that one. We are trying to prioritize portraits for the bank now. Having gotten, I believe, the final levels of upgrades on both the blacksmith and the guild. Now, we're trying to make some more money. We're trying to keep ourselves in a good financial position moving forward. So if we can find 50 portraits, which is certainly going to be easier said than done. We'll be on our way to that, but let's give ourselves as much help as we can to get there via the uh, via the quest rewards. So let's go ahead and slap together a good old-fashioned veteran squad here. Going into the cove, I would not mind piling on some blight, although scurvy is absolutely not something we should be taking into the cove. Go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Sorry, pal, you're not quite fit for this. I'm starting to think, actually, maybe... You know what? I think we need to go apprentice again here. As much as it feels like a bit of, bit of a waste, I really want to have as many options as I, as I can for veteran and above. And we're not really going to care too much about apprentice for the rest of the run, most likely. So something like this, I think we may need to go ahead and try out here. So we can get these guys up to rank three as well. So let's just knock this out real quick. I'm sure this should be pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can duck, duck these guys out. We do have the musket ball for her, which is pretty outstanding. Sadly can't rock that bullseye bandana that is arbalist only, but can find some additional damage like that too. Genius head here for the Vestal. I think I'll go ahead and give her the lantern as well. We'll take the candle up there and then the... Well, let's go with... Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that, actually. And then lower stress, possibly. I don't think I need to be too concerned about how we're gearing up for this one. I'm sure we'll be just fine. I'll use the Captivate here, too, maybe. Do a lot of stuns. In fact, tell you what, let's do this instead. We'll get the cudgel weight on this guy, and then we'll give the uh, uh, overture box to her. That's nice. All right, cool. Works for me. I think I'll swap that off for the stun there. Musketeer's ready to go. Quick trip to the blacksmith and guild yet again for him. We'll get things started on an easier note today, and then more than likely have to take on some tougher foes later down the road here. And yes, I know, I know, I, I I can't visit this screen anymore, apparently, without somebody shouting, Shrieker! Shrieker, bear! Fight the Shrieker! Get the trinkets! Bear! Bear! Bear, did you see the big bird? She's a big bird icon on the screen. You know you can go fight him, you can get your stuff back. Bear! Yeah, I know. I got it. I got it. I heard you the first thousand times. We'll get there eventually. All right. Why don't we go back to the runes again? Bunch of holy water. Caw, by the way. Yeah, no, that's a perfect caw opportunity. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably good. Send it. Sounds like a Brian Regan bit. Brian Regan sounding ass. Yeah, you're not wrong. Can the defiled be consecrated? Can the fallen find rest? Bird up. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, team. 
you ought not have too many problems here, I imagine. Perfectly tee that up. Let's just not be stressed. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. By anything ever. Because I did fail to prepare for that in a meaningful way, although I guess I do have a Hound Master. There you go. A opportunity. Oh my god. It's a whiff on my part, but a slam dunk for Yuki Porter. Well played. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That's why we brought the stun. God, I loved hearing Wayne in the Triple I initiative announcements, man. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Obviously, so excited for that new DD2 game mode. I mean, I was already coming back to DD2 just from the experimental uh, experimental update. That such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Now you got me hook, line, and frickin' sinker, brother. No DD2 console news. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a bummer. They seem busy over there, man. They got a lot on their plate, apparently. Well, apparently we know that. Also, do not need to hang out of that blood. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yeah, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's coming soon. I'm sure they know that's a top priority. Just don't let it turn into a catastrophe. I will do my best. Come on now. Come on now. No, please linger in the triple I. Yeah, no, I want to talk about it more. Annihilated. I appreciate E3, but without the indies getting lost between big budget triple A announcements. I, I described it uh, in the beginning there. Yeah, it's like a microscopic E3. And that's kind of doing it a disservice now because that was, that was great. That was so perfectly constructed. Eradicated. And had a great variety of things on offer. Another abomination cleansed from our land. The pacing was wonderful. The 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 whole like vibe of it was good. You know, it was kind of tongue in cheek at times. And in D three, sheesh, you gotta relax, keyboarder. You're putting me out of a job here. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Yeah, I was really happy with that. In Radiance, may we find victory. And as anticipated, I now have several games to look forward to over the next few months. I gotta watch it again, in fact, actually. Remind myself uh, what's to come. I gotta start actually using my... Uh, A renewal. Welcome my back. Google Doc we've got for upcoming possible games. Rawlatch! Thank you for the 14. Thank you for the bear hugs for him. We'll come back in. That Popeye mouse game looks super fun and goofy. Never would have even looked at it otherwise. It's it's a great opportunity to present a pitch like that. And boy, did they nail it. Yeah. Took advantage. All right, fellers. We're looking to make this a quick and easy one, actually. I don't know if you heard me in the prep stage, but I'm not even really acknowledging you as an actual threat. Give them no quarter. Which I don't say to upset you. I'm just trying to keep it real. I'm just trying to keep it a buck fifty with y'all. This is a this is but a speed bump on our path to glory. I'm going to need you to act accordingly. Appreciate it. All right, that'll do. Obliterated. Ideal conclusion. It's a big protection buffer from that. That's crazy. This expedition at least promises success. Where are them relics at? Gimme, gimme, gimme. I would not mind having a shield breaker at the veteran level now, too. Although, of course, we do have to deal with her sh uh, snake ambushes still, but... A decisive pummeling. Hopefully we can handle it. Go ahead and let her die to an impale. I was going to say bleed out, but no, I think I'd rather do that. 
And go for the judgment too, why not? Masterfully executed. They are just playing to perfection so far. Sheesh, I don't even need any help right now. They're just doing it themselves. Grimworld horror themed DLC tomorrow. Damn. I really wish that game wasn't so hard. It's such a steep learning curve that is difficult to want to reacclimate to. Even though I know when I did the first time, I was very happy with it. It's very intimidating. A powerful blow. Bear, didn't you say you wanted to use a dog treat early? Oh, poor past Bear, so naive. Thinking he could change his ways? Silly fool. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I mean, I guess we just get all of the crests, and then we can turn the crests into portraits later. Maybe the magical powers of alchemy. Yeah, fuck. Watch your step. This ancestor's lanterns have been paying off big time so far in this dungeon. I'm loving the surprise attacks. Thank you. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Finally got a damn relic. Get some inventory space out of this. Sweet. Yeah, I've got a good town of them, I'm likely in the way as a result, too. This is often why I decide to prioritize these missions, especially at the easier levels. Probably the biggest takeaway from this is going to be the uh, addition of the Vestal and veteran ranks, too. We're finally going to have a nice variety available for healers. Sedated. Been pretty occultist pilled lately. Real talk to other DD players in the pile. Remember to use the, do the dog treat correctly. Let's put them on blast. Yeah. Is pawn here? Can we do a pawn pull? Or I can just do a regular old bear pull. Do you use the dog treats? Yes or no? Two minute pull, vote now. Maybe I'm not alone. I mean, you should, obviously. But are you like me in that they've got too good to use syndrome until the very end of the dungeon where you remember that you had them? Does forgetting to use them 85% of the time count as a no? Yes. In fact, let's establish that as the threshold. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. The dog gets them later all at once. The dog gets them as a reward for a dungeon completed. Yeah, I agree with that. That should be canon. You eat them yourself. That's, that's one way to do it, I guess. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Or I'm finding like actually coins in these bags. Glittering gold. A single quarter. Gets in baubles. Paid for in blood. What if my dog is diabetic? They got treats for that, don't they? They must. I can't be leaving the diabetic dogs out. Well, why not? didn't even matter. What's the point? Never worth. Come on, then. Man, love me some apprentice early in the morning, huh? Taking it nice and easy here. Stroll through the park. They ain't even getting touched, man. Dodge on dodge. Sheesh. Unhittable. Sidearm. That'll work. Getting lots of stress heals out of this little torchlight too, why not? The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. It's flying through this. It's like the pace of the triple I initiative stream. Sheesh. Easy peasy. Can't give me another 
goddamn town event till the very end of the hallway, though, aren't you? Gonna make me earn it, at least. Speaking of which, that sucks. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. What about regular old fatigable purpose? How's that? Is that enough? Been some pretty easy fights here, too, actually. Keeping it nice and simple. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. Just had to say something. The end approaches. You know, an honest to God heal on the boy. Oh, there you go again. All better. The ground quakes. I think you're underestimating Man at Arms Bolster. Such a great skill, I do it on the first time every time. I've been using it every now and then, yeah, I, I, I certainly see the appeal. I feel ya. You know how to do it a little more frequently. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Hot damn. Ain't never scared. Never even worried for a second. Easy peasy. Be gone, fiend. Man, the stress healing from the crits alone in this dungeon has been crazy. That's fun. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Meh. Meh. Alright, don't have any herbs here, but I'll give it a try. Another relic, nice. I wonder if I've ever accidentally just thrown these out. A fortune waiting to be spent. Probably doesn't let you. I can see myself doing that. Which way, chat? Up right left. Or sorry, up right down. Down right up. That's just down right up. We would say that all the time when we were playing Legend of Lagaya, which is a game that I, I apparently am legally obligated to reference once every 30 episodes of whatever I'm playing. But when we would input chat or input uh, fight commands, one of the combos was down right up. And we would say, well, that's just down right up. Now we got to go up, apparently. Uh oh. Twitch chat plays Legend of Lagaya win. At some point, I do probably have to play it. It's easily one of my favorite childhood games. Although I don't have my copy anymore. I have the boxes, but I don't know where the discs are. I'm so sad about it. I, I could have sworn they were in there with them. And I went to a local game store on the off chance that they would have a copy. Mortality clarified in a single strike. And they do, but that shit's 60 bucks. Charging modern day sticker price for Legend of the Gaia, which to be fair, apparently the game's pretty rare, so I, I get it, but. God damn, dude, I wasn't ready to pay 60 bucks for that. Now this would be a dog treat opportunity. This is where I should have used the dog treat to avoid the Houndmaster getting the Crimson Curse. If I was a smart boy, that would have been the play. A singular strike. But now I'm gonna take a chance. Yeah, I think I think we can deal two damage without a snack. There you go, bud. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Can't wait to see those guys in 3D. Yeah, same. DD2 versions of the Bloodsucker is going to be really fun. Well. Fun to look at, anyway. Hmm. I suppose I'd rather avoid the resolve check. Somehow... Devastating blow. Somehow into an unfortunate position, despite how well this dungeon has gone with the lack of torchlight here, but 
More than likely gonna be camping out here, I assume. You missed the blood curse in DD2. Yeah, not so much. I certainly prefer its absence, although I'll take the trade off if it means getting all new content for DD2. Stun in on this boy and maybe give myself a little more healing opportunity. Oh, we actually do have the Cry Havoc equipped if I wanted to just move him back. Yeah, let's just do that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, lovely. That'll work. Maybe at least one of these Cry Havocs. Let's go ahead and stall here for a sec. Give him a little bit of love. Maybe avoid the meltdown on the Vestal or not. Up to you. There we go. Victory's mount. Yeah, let's keep him there. So too will resistance. That'd be nice. Then you can get ambushed here. Try this out. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try as hard as I can to reduce this Vestal stress, and thankfully we do have pretty good means of doing so. No need to pray, I suppose. Could do a man's best friend here on the Houndmaster as well. And you know what? I think we'll do a prey too. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Alright, good enough. The oh, we did get ambushed. Much worse than mere trickery and yeah, I've been rolling the dice on ambush prevention pretty frequently here. I mean, even if we do get ambushed, it's usually something like this, and it's going to be pretty straightforward to deal with. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Reeling. About to break. Wow, that was uh, 44 stress. That's more than I expected. It's nice at least, okay. There you go. There goes Mr. Spooter. Let's see if I can get rid of at least a little bit of that stress that just piled up. Kind of negated the entire effect of our Execute camp, unfortunately. So I suppose that's the penalty I get for not preventing the ambush. Actually punished. All right, well. Finish on a strong note, hopefully. This is actually just going to be another case of the very last node holds the relic we seek. I guess I gotta get some sort of sense of satisfaction somewhere. Suffer and suck a tash. Okay, never mind. I just have to whine about it. Thank you. Yeah, full clear, why not? I'm here, ain't I? Let's get some goodies. Let's find some portraits, huh? Or maybe a shambly wambly. Wouldn't be super opposed to that, honestly. Famous last words. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get into the darkness soon enough for a little bit anyway. I don't have to force it. It's too calm. It's too quiet. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Something terrible's happening. And now, the darkness oh, holds right. dominion. Never mind. Black as death. Just trying to make it interesting. This day belongs to the light. Yo. 36 crests. And the yips and the worries. Well, crap. We got a little more work to do with the shield breaker, too. The shuffling dead are silenced. We have claimed dominion over the ruins once more. Okay, let's get rid of those yips. Oh, wait, that was on the musketeer, right? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. And we get bonus damage in the ruins, so let's take on a fulminating prophet, shall we? 
Sounds like a winning idea to me. Let's see who's going to be along for the ride in there. We certainly want to consider Keyboarder for that. Or sorry, uh, Pleb, right? No, it is Keyboarder, but I think Keyboarder's lost some of their... Yeah, I should have locked those in, dude. Damn it, he's losing all the stuff that was making him good. Hmm. Well, maybe just Pleb then. Take care of that Twilight Dreamer. I'll take advantage of that, rather. I could get JJ in there. It's a nice classic. Ruin Squad. I only have a proper healer available at the moment. It's kind of why I was trying to level up these guys. Maybe we'll just go for another town event. Activate three corpses, get some of these other healers available from this rank. Let's do that instead. Yeah, let's just ignore this. I don't need the bonus damage anyway. Let's do a very quick level up of these guys too. I get a Plague Doctor in there. A bunch of Blight for the ruins is nice. In fact, eh, no, I need to level up the Occultist, I guess. All right, cool. Bon Jugular. Welcome back. Hey, Bon. Tier 3, 54 months. Please get her some bearer hugs. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. All righty. Money's actually looking pretty good now. I'm happy with that. We get the Impale off the Blight now, too. That's good stuff. They're all ranked up and good to go. Cultist is looking good to go. These guys up as well. I think we're gonna go ahead and swap back to the curse this time. Assuming he's in rank four, he could be in rank three though. But I think this is the one that has. Or no, I think no matter what, actually, we're probably gonna go ahead and equip the incision here. Although this is the ruins, so maybe not. Maybe we keep all the blight, all the stuns. Yeah, let's do it. All right, get their trinkets sorted out real fast here and. Holy right as rain, man. That should be another pretty lickety split dungeon right here. Let's actually give him his damage too. Yeah, it's been working out pretty well. And then I'm gonna give her the blight chance, the stun chance again. Keep it pretty simple here. Grave robbers gotta have something up here, right? I could just go candle, I guess. Candle and lantern too. Why not? And then you can have some nice trinkets here. Cool, good stuff. Yeah, we just send this, man. I don't think we need to worry too much about our build here. I think we're good to go. Got our ambush prevention as well. Let's knock this out real quick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Three shovels this time. Just a couple bandages. A few holy waters. Send it, brother. No problem. Does stealth dodge the rubble? Um, maybe? The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin and the seat of our noble line. I'm not sure. Ancestor's Lantern, man. I've been loving that. Precision and power. Ooh, this is looking like a very nice impale here, too. Continue the onslaught. Oh, baby. Destroy them all. The weakening curse kill. Hot damn, this team's already off the races. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Nice little stress heal, outstanding. Reorder the torches, because it's driving me crazy if I don't. Reorder the party. I'm going to do this one faster than the last dungeon. I'm going to anticipate, let's, let's call it, I'm going to say two room battles. This is this included. Fighting two total room battles. Two total room battles in this entire dungeon. And let's get you... Dead as hell. Confidence wow. surges as the enemy crumbles. Lands the blight too. Oh my god. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. This is very satisfying already. No worries. Reorder. Send it. And a secret room. Oh my. That's outstanding. Tell you what, we're gonna come all the way back for that. We're gonna loop around so we can have as much inventory space as possible, and then we're gonna go down to uh Zero torch light when we get there too. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. This is good. There's our second room battle, as predicted. Although, well, early to assume that we get six empty rooms on the way, but you never know. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Could be. 
banking on it, in fact. God, these surprise attacks. I'm starting to really like this lantern, dude. It has been nice. Get him. Hell yeah. There's a bear nice right there, too. Look at that. Jesus. This is just a... This is a slaughter. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. This is the kind of run that feels like cheating, dude. Incredible. Okay, and I think this is a negative quirk removal? Huh. Let's do let's do the uh occultist here. Nice. Oh my god. The value. I have two shovels. I do have to go fight this eventually anyway. So much for my prediction, I guess. Need a shambler to calm us down? No, I'm alright with this. I got no qualms with a cakewalk of a run. Oh my god, just constant surprises. So satisfying. We're really not even, like, changing up the formula all that much for every fight, either. We'll almost certainly get an abyssal back there. I'm gonna hit him with the impale again. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh no, hold on, we just gotta do this. This is the rare situation in which I didn't kill all four immediately, but slowly, gently. The stress dealers are dead. Is how a life is dodge it? Oh my god. I wasn't even counting on that. Do it again. Do it again. Another dodge. She had even more. Somehow. Alright, dead to blight up front. Dead to blight up front. Not quite. Now we now we got it. Stress at zero? Essentially. Pretty sick. And a free shovel. As victories mount, so too will resistance. The order, grab this. Come on, portraits. Wow. Nice. With loot. Are often low on supplies. We are really flying through this now, man. We're getting all the heirlooms we need to. We're going to get the damn bank built by the end of the day at this rate. With how many crests we got in that first dungeon, I'm feeling pretty good here. Pretty damn good. My goodness. Still got the food, still got the torchlight. We're nearly halfway through this dungeon already. Do it again. All right. Let's see how a non-surprise fight goes. I did waste the key. Crap, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. I, I, there was something telling me I should have used a shovel there instead of a key, too. I should have listened to my, in, my instinct. That eh, was silly. Oh, well. Maybe we'll find another one here. Just mixing it up, Doc. We'll be going back to DD2 pretty soon, though. Because of that experimental update stuff. Prediction on will you find one before Another the secret room? Falls. Pawn, you got it? Still here? These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I'm down with that. Nice dodge of protection buff. I'll take it. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. You know, worst case scenario, we can always go back and get a trip to Adrian. Yo! Wow, that was fun. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. The pit. God, this this is enjoyable. It may not be a super entertaining experience. The the lack of drama, I assume, is making this a little predictable. But boy, does it feel nice. Boy, is the confidence boost welcome. And a little spider overkill too. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Shut up, Wayne. I'm allowed to feel good. Oh, nice. See? I knew it was true. Ooh, and the scout as well. Come on now. Last one right there. No? All right, fine. 
No books for me. Hmm. Try your hand there. Fair enough. Watch your step. Up the difficulty then, turn the lights off. You think I won't? You think I won't, motherfucker? Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows. That's all you had to yonder, do. A glint of gold. It'd be a first time chatter and play to my sense of hubris. Bitch. Another surprise fight. Surprise, surprise fight. Ooh, baby. That'll do. That'll work. Noxious blast the front line. Noise. The slow death. Unforeseen. Noise. Unforgiving. Toy. Miss it? Ow. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Ooh, that's a lot of stress, yikes. That's no fun. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Be gone, fiend. That's enough of that. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? It's not real darkness. He's still got torches in the inventory. I'll show you, person that didn't actually say that and only exists in my head. Ha! Now what say you? Straw man. Doubts quell. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Up the difficulty, then shuffle a cultist to the front line. You think I won't? Just because it has no practical value whatsoever and was done purely out of spite? Bitch! Don't you dare doubt. Annihilated. Are we throwing blood move? <laughs> I'm a pure ego move. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Up the difficulty, turn the monitor off. You think I won't? Bitch! We ain't even gotta see shit! Is it random buttons? This is the real darkest dungeon! This expedition at least promises success. <laughs> All right, well, we made it exciting, at least. Um, yeah, you can have a meal. And you too. There we go. There we go. Like, literally, right? Yeah, come on. Um, I don't have a key for that anymore. That kind of blows. Oh, well. Glittering gold. Mm -hmm. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Oh, yeah, you think it's so easy, Barry? You won't walk all the way back to the secret room despite the fact that you don't even have a key to open it up and take the proper rewards. Yeah, you feel a little scared now, I bet. Feel a little worried? Uh oh. Oh, no. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Yeah, boy. Look at the stress healing coming out of this, huh? Sheesh. Light for you? A little blight for you? Yeah. There it is. No problem. Be wary. Hmm. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Stop stop saying that kind of stuff. Stop it. Still good. Got two possible curios for the key as well, man. You never know. Might happen. Might get lucky. We have a fully unexplored hallway coming up. It's a little interesting. Certainly solved the drama issue, didn't we? A little exciting now. No damn idea what's coming. 
campfire now? I'll still probably camp after this. Unless you're daring me. A fortune waiting to be spent. That's all it takes, apparently. No key. Oh well. I am daring you. You think I won't be? <laughs> Who needs it? Not this guy. Don't need this food. Don't need this shovel. Don't need this anti venom. Don't need this. No, I'll keep the trinket, I guess. Destroyed. I guess I can have that. But are you alright? You gonna miss? Yeah, I thought I thought so. I did need the key, true. Yeah, no, that 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 I should have kept. Executed with impunity. Hooray. Seize this momentum. Push on to the tasks and we've actually improved our situation. Since we put the torchlight out. Which is kind of silly. The key makes it a lot better. You get like, yeah, instead of this garbage, you get like three shapes of hedrons. Read the book, coward. All right, this is the last one though. Until you dare me to do this hallway. Ah, ah, crap. Well, I better go try to heal the stress with this dark curio. How are you reading in the dark? Like uh, Professor Chang from Community? Like that? A handsome reward for a task well performed. Um, oh no! <laughs> Is this my punishment? Has it finally arrived? Uh oh. I got a little barreline out of me, certainly. We cannot blight them very well, but we can try. Well, that's too dead, at least. No curse. A little bear luck, a little bear luck. Come on now. Confusion, nerves, and panic. For who? For them, not for me, right? Is what you're saying? Yeah, go for it. Guys. Well struck. No problem. Probably land this from her now. Easy money. No worries. I don't need that food. Brought low and driven into the mud. Useless. Get rid of it. Bear, you won't go into one more hallway, I bet. Bear, you won't full clear the dungeon. You won't realize that you should have gone through this hallway first because there was a key in the bag. And you could have gotten secret room value. Right? Oh, actual value. Except we don't have a holy water anymore. What does this do otherwise? Something terrible. Ah, oh, well, all right. Bye then. Room by room. Yay. Oh, my hole. We reclaim what is ours. All right. She'll break a level three. Everybody level three off that. Sick. Faithless, though. All right. Easy peasy. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Hmm. And the letter was on its way. You guys want to go to the brothel? You go to the brothel, too, don't you? Well, only gamble. Oh. No, I was going to have to wait, I guess. Alrighty. That was good. We have our Vestal back now at the veteran rank if I want to try to take her out another go. I think. Yeah, there she is. She has a little stress, too, though. I think I could probably fix that first. And then looking good otherwise. Apparently, sea level is still rapturous. I got to fix that, I guess. In you go. Are we done with dares? If not, I dare for the Shrieker. It's not gonna happen yet! 
I don't know how many times I gotta tell you, we need a much better team for that. It's a hard fight. Ooh, new Vestal. Eh, I don't think so. I think we probably gotta go for a veteran at this point, which I don't really want to spend the resources on. We are really quickly closing in on a possible bank here, man. That'd be sick. Okay, might be time to head for the profit, though. Oh, another focus ring. Yep, absolutely time to go to the profit. Double Crusader with the Highwayman and an Occultist, right? Unless we committed him. I think we did. No healer? Do I dare? Do I dare be so bold with a support jester in the back rank? Could even be Defiler if I want to make it even better. Although I think Joe would probably be preferable. Hmm. I guess the, the Crusaders can be healers, true. Not very good ones, but there's an option. I don't really want to give him a Holy Lance, actually. I think I'm actually going to do this. I think we're sending it, brother. Looking at their little upgrades here. Holy Lance cooking for him. A little battle heal upgrade there. We'll take the point blank just in case I decide to go that route at some point. We're going to upgrade our battle ballad and our inspiring tune, our harvest, probably a finale and our solo here too. Certainly need that bank soon, dude. Is Ace committed? Um, No, actually. Oh. Oh, shit. Hmm. I think I prefer the Jester. As foolish as that may be, tell you what, let's let's we're gonna build absurd damage, is what we're gonna do here. So let's start with you, with the accuracy and crit, and then you're gonna go. I think we're gonna lean pretty heavily into the crit chance for you. Can we do that with something? I guess the quick draw charm works for that for the duelists. I would speed after the first round, but that's okay. And then for our boy up front here, let's go with the good old-fashioned Dismas's head and the Crescendo box. I believe we have a buff to melee damage on one of these. I have the Warrior's Bracer, which is decent. We'll just do a plus 20% with basically no drawback. That doesn't seem all that bad. And then I really wish I had his Tambourine here. I guess I'll take the Feather Crystal and just be a little more defensive-oriented in the back, and then that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I should just go Candle instead. That's yeah, going to be a little better. You know what? Lantern, too. Yeah, it's worth it. All right, and then... I dare you to commit that Cultist. Honestly, yeah, I probably should, although i got to wait for the Gambling Hall for him, so that's the reason we didn't do it. Quick Survivalist check for this group. I think we're doing okay. Grab a Zealous Vigil on him, too, just in case. Gallows Humor is actually pretty nice. I'm going to grab that, too. And I'll take Tiger's Eye as well. Okay. And I'm having them equip this. Um, maybe I want clean guns. I can give up Encourage on him, I suppose. I'm going to get a Courage unlock on Pleb as well. Oh, crap. Well, that's all right, I guess. Uh, there we go, and then Joe is going to rock the Tiger's Eye instead of the Wound Care, and that's all looking pretty great. Let's do it. Off to the Prophet. Get those set. A couple of Holy Waters, a couple of Keys, give him some Herbs, give him some Anti-Venom just in case. I think the Prophet does a lot of Blight, actually, so yeah, we want to bring quite a bit of this. And that should do it. We got a lot of blood now, damn. We're not going to have to worry about that at all. Good old Vintners. All right, profit time. This raving creature had to be silenced, but doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back? How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly.
What's the disease on highwaymen? I believe it's rabies. So, we're glad to have the additional accuracy coming out of this. Not to mention the battle ballad, I believe, is going to add some more, too. We are going, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We know where to go. I think this team should be pretty safe in here, although obviously any composition lacking a dedicated healer is a risk. A full path often attracts unwanted attention. We do have quite a bit of stress healing on this team, though, which is really nice. It's pretty uncommon. I'm looking forward to seeing the kind of damage output they got. As the fiend falls, yep. a faint hope blossoms. Yep. Yeah, that, that's nice. That'll do. That's not too bad. Oh, oh. oh yeah. I already like this a lot. Inspiration and improvement. Keep trying on the stun for this guy. Outstanding. Probably get some inspiring cries in here too. Okay. Already feeling pretty damn good. Man, the duelist advance into the Holy Lance is going to be a fun combo. I already like that a lot. 14 stress. Let's get it down to zero, huh? Why the hell not? It's in great shape here. 10 to 19 with a 25% crit chance. Sheesh. That is fun. I'm not going to stun here again, likely. So let's just uh, battle heal. Keep him topped off. I suppose, actually, yeah, I'd be, I'd be more concerned about things like a 16 damage hit. So it's going to take a lot more effort for me to uh, fix that up with this team. Maybe I'll just crit my way to a little bit more stress healing here, too, with a plus 15%. Looking pretty likely. The bigger the beast, Let's go. The greater the glory. How excited is chat for Kingdoms? I think we're pretty pumped up in here, yeah, for the new uh, Kingdoms game mode for DD2. Quite a bit of bear hype. Okay. Be kind. Thank you. It's weird that they listen. It's, it's nice to be heard for once. I love that start, too. All right, keep the balance coming, brother. Mm-hmm. Decimated. Oh, we have Twilight Dreamer. Impressive. Hardly even needed it though. God damn. I believe it's the front rank guy. Destroy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I am really pleased with the turnaround. It was not too long ago that I was really beginning to doubt the likelihood of us completing this campaign. That has been turned fully upside down now to... Is this too easy for me at this point? We gotta start putting torch lights out. We gotta start introducing our own added difficulties. He says, knowing full well he hasn't done a single champion dungeon yet, and ought not be so confident. Lest we remind you, Bear, what's to come. Maintain the offensive. Sitting at eight out of, eight out of sixteen deaths at the moment. And uh, it's been quite a while since we've even really been worried about anybody. Mm-hmm. It's probably going to be end up, end up worth it more, I'd imagine. Okay. Wouldn't it be cool if the Jester could use more skills? I mean, I'd kind of doubt that he's ever going to do anything besides the two we're doing here sort of his role in this group. 
Oh shit, equipped the solo in finale. Like I just did. Mm hmm. The blood quickens. This is just a fun team, man. I'm really enjoying the back and forth between those two. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And then Pleb is just cleaning up up front. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Fair. But it ain't gonna stop me from my hubris, damn it. Battle heal. Thank you. I do gotta keep people topped off. That's I, I gotta continually remind myself of that in this situation. The heal opportunities are gonna be few and far between, so let's try to take them where we can. of skill and purpose. Rocking that plus 15% crit. That's a nice feeling. He's a tanky boy. Right there with the target friend. Right there? No? That'll work, I guess. Another ballad? Is this 20% now? A time to perform beyond one's limits. Redonkulous, dude. Continually onslaught. Very good. Destroy them all. Swap it off. Let's go like that. Uh, I've got a key for this sarcophagus, though. Fuck. I guess I'll do this. Wealth beyond measure. Mm. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Yeah, I think I just gotta dump that ruby I grabbed. Heirlooms are much more important at the moment, and they get us closer to getting the bank, which is going to be more money in the long run. The absence of the curse is almost certainly playing a major role in my level of confidence right now. Yeah, that's a pretty good point, actually. Ever since that went away, I've been feeling just nothing but relief. This has been crits on crits on crits ever since. Confidence is being osmosed by the party. It will be coming back, yeah. With a friggin' vengeance, unfortunately. It's already tried to, yeah. There's been a few bloodsuckers already. But the frequency of those will be increasing as we go here. I wanted to bandage that, actually, but that's all right. You don't want to target the damn repose, man. Sheesh. You at 12? Yeah. Worth it. Oh, cool. A singular strike. Rare wicked slice opportunity for him. Nope, alright. You insist. At least we know damn well we got the profit coming up here. Have plenty of torchlight for that, plenty of food for the campfire, plenty of DOT removal coming up. In great shape. Oh, and I love seeing that right away, too. Thank you. Old fashioned gargi. I was pleased to hear someone with your hours in saying the curse was a bit too much for beginners. I tried and I was like, this is too many fucking worries at once. Yep. Nah, yeah, it's not for your first campaign, certainly. That's for, that's for later. And even then, I would strongly consider whether or not that's something that you actually want to introduce to your campaign. Because it's a lot, man, it is. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. I feel like you can still get a lot of uh, a lot of value out of, out of the vanilla DD campaign too. So yeah, you're not missing much. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like I, every time I say that kind of stuff, I have to. I feel like I have to introduce the caveat of it is still fun. It's good content, but it's very difficult to deal with. And yeah, the loot that you can get in there too is outstanding. Some of those Crimson Court combo trinkets are ridiculously good. 
So it is worth it as well. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna get money from the bank soon. I'm not really worried about it. Oh, we never did end that prediction, did we? Yeah, Pawn, are you still here? Or oh yeah, Pawn, there you are. Oh, you also have a debut Discord poll. Oh, baby, is that in the Pawns polls? Look at that. Actual official Discord voting. Best Skittles pouch? Ooh, that's that's an easy choice for me. That's, that's, that's easy wild berry. Without a doubt. Sorry, I got distracted by Discord here. All right. I would love to avoid the curse here. did get the dubski yeah we didn't find a key though which i can't remember if you did the prediction for that or just for the w we did the uh, merge victorious no deaths from that last dungeon smoothie packs a, a strong second yeah i i'm with you on that not as big on the wild berry and that's apollo's favorite oh, this damage is starting to become an issue kills. Can't hurt me if they're dead. A devastating blow. There we go. And I don't think he's really modified by being in the second rank, but and we'll get lucky with the skill selection. So far, so good. Solo finale? Let's do it. Let's fuck around a little, huh? Battle heal up front. Inspiring cry. Get him feeling the good. The promise of safety. With it. Yeah, it's good enough. Hit it. Oh yeah. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, so we've got. Oh. Crap. Yet another secret room I don't have a key for. That sucks. And two confession booths I can't use. Oh, cool. Thank you. It's a Twitch thing, Reg. You can change that, I believe, by... Um, oh, my God. That was lucky. Holy shit. Um, I believe if you uh, disable low latency mode in your Twitch settings, you can stop the weird music glitches from happening. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Ah, crap. I should have camped before I opened that. I didn't even think about it. I'll tell you what. We have enough food. We need to heal up anyway. Let's do this. And then we can camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Nah, you're good, Bon. I appreciate it. All right, let's actually prevent the ambush this time. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the tiger's eye onto you. Even more accuracy and crit chance. We'll go for even more crit chance. And actually, no, the unparalleled finesse is going to be way better for him. I feel like he's not going to use his range skills all that much. There we go. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Usually you can, Sentinel. I don't know what it is. Certain things don't allow you to camp while you have an inventory window open. Oh, it's only if it's from combat, apparently. Okay, yeah, I didn't realize that. Um, I guess we just wait on this. We're probably not going to get a key from the boss, but we might as well take a chance. The match is struck. Okay. A blazing star is born. Get some resistances up front. Let's do this shit. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, a little barreling to start off here. The madman hides there, behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. We've got to kill at least one pew in order to allow the Crusaders, well, actually, probably two pews, to allow the Crusaders to actually reach this guy. So let's just have him... Full commit to that early on. Well 
Wow, that was an outstanding return hit. Oh my god, 52 damage from two crits is certainly going to help out. Jesus. Well played, brother. Okay. Keep that coming. And there's a pew gun. Holy shit. We're going to be stacking up a hell of a finale on this guy, too, man. This is, uh... This is already looking pretty good. Otter de los Muertos with the 49. Welcome back in. Holy shit! Oh my goodness, dude! Wow! Wow! Wowie! This could not be going much better right now, especially with that targeting. Yeah, that's perfect. Jesus Christ! Oh my! That camp buff worked out pretty goddamn well, didn't it? I'm very curious what he's actually sitting at for crit chance right now. It's gotta be above 50. He's just fucking dead, dude. He's gone. See ya. Well, bear optimal for him. Spreading the damage around, bear taffy style. I'm about to go for more pews at this point, dude. Fuck it. Let's get some money. Let's make some green. My man rocking the 41%, make it 49% crit chance. Holy shit. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're so close. I can survive another hit. Oh, he's just gonna fulminate and die, though. I didn't even think about it. In life, his claims to recognition eh, whatever. are dubious at best. In death, they are ridiculous. <laughs> they sure are, Wayne. Let's go, man. Holy shit, that was easy. This whole day has been easy so far. This has been really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take the W. Get the hell out of here. Who needs a secret room? Not me. Give me a focus ring. How about that? Some champion dungeon, or some champion characters, rather. Holy cow. He's a bare back it up highwayman now. Let's go. We dug for months, years, an eternity. And we were rewarded with madness. It's like they didn't even do anything. It's like they were sitting in the town the whole week. Well then. Where does that leave us? What sort of... What sort of mission shall we embark upon at this point in the campaign? Hmm. Let's check on disease, first of all. I think we have mostly rabies we're dealing with. Oh, uh, yeah, that tapeworm. Eh, might as well get rid of that. We're toes in the courtyard? Eh. Well, it's not necessary. It's not super tempting. I'll tell you what, I am actually tempted to go ahead and try out a champion dungeon here. Get ourselves a bumper crop. Let's see how our level fives are doing, how about? Give them a proper shot. Let's put together a strong squad here for the Warrens. Maybe a little Caitlyn Fox in there, maybe a little... A little Arbalist, perhaps? A little Axial. Some back rank damage. Do we possibly have any Warrens folks? Any issues with going into the warrants here? It doesn't look like it. We do have the yips on Caitlyn. I just realized. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Let's fix that first. I don't want to deal with that. So instead, let's go s'mores. I'm sure he'll do fine. All right, man. Oh, rainbow fruit candy. Oh, that's tough. Last minute gun to my head, I did go Skittles. I was very tempted to go uh, Sour Worms, though. And that also makes me want some Sour Worms immediately. Get our old 
Crimson Court combo for the boy. Give him the Toy Soldier with the protection here. I'm going to go ahead and go with the 35% protection on the Man at Arms. Seems like a good way to do this. Genius head in his Sacrificial Cauldron, and then the Bullseye Bandana. And I'm going to go ahead and go with the Focus Ring as well, so we can make up for lost accuracy from the Rabies. And a plus 10% crit chance is pretty nice. You have a Warren's Spur case? You are still at veteran rank, though. Oh, you are actually really good in the Warrens, though, damn. That's pretty nice. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and do a defender this time. Let's take him into the blacksmith as well. I think I'm about to spend all of our money on some rank 5 upgrades. Let's see if I can make this cheaper, actually. Yeah, that seems worthwhile. Let's go ahead and trade some crests for deeds here. Oops. How many do we need? Eleven. Worth it. Fully upgraded blacksmith. Oh, that sound is satisfying. Alright, let's sell some trinkets. Don't need two immunity masks. Don't need two paralyzers crests. Certainly don't need that. Uh, let's see. I can probably get rid of this sturdy greaves. The heart burst hood we're never going to use. Probably the diseased herb, too. I don't think I actually need two quick draw charms either. Get rid of one of those. Certainly looking to get the bank now, man. Sheesh. I haven't even gotten into the guild yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hold on now. Fleet Florian, get rid of that. Book of Holiness. Book of Rage. Probably. Kind of considering the Solar Bracer. I think I'll get rid of that. The Worry Stone, don't need that. Youth Chalice, not all that great. Agility Talent, not great. Debuff Charm, Blade Charm, Move Charm. There we go. There we go. Banana flavored candy? Give it to me. Banana Laffy Taffy is delicious. Get that Endure upgraded, the Exsanguinate, the Bleed Chance on these skills, and the higher level heal. I think I'll upgrade the Bolster since we're more than likely been using that here. An extra stun chance on the Retribution. And that's probably okay for now. Maybe the Battlefield Bandage too, although, well, that's a pretty big buff to healing received. Yeah, we can do that. I think we're feeling pretty good. It's time to test our might, though. A proper challenge. Let's see how we handle the Warrens here. Bring some laudanum. I think it's about that time. I need to be a little more concerned about horror here. Okay. Here we go. Time to step it up. Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Here it comes. Steal their food. Mm. Such a good line. Such a perfect delivery. All right, no fucking around anymore, man. No books for me. No, no putting out the torchlight. No dares anymore. This is serious, serious bearsness. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Ooh, that's nice to see early on. Hold on, let's go ahead and give that to the Arby. Plus 30% damage till camp. Ooh, and this is... Oh, crap. What is this one? Shovel? Herbs? I think it's shovel because it's shovel and it's in the courtyard, right? I almost just want to look this one up. Because I think this one's pretty good, too. Oh, no, never mind. That's just the quest objective. That's right. A fortune waiting to be spent. I'm a doof. Whoa. Yay. Okay, now the third one right here. And then I can say that I've done a champion dungeon. <laughs> Is it going to free level six for these guys? I would love it, man. Get me the hell out of here with no 
Fights. Oh, God. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. No dares. No dares allowed. It's a no dare zone. I said it first. Can't do it. This is the. I mean, it's. It's. Ah! When I think about it from a content perspective, man, I'm like, oh, okay, you've had it so easy, though, Bear. Wouldn't it be perfect if in this episode you ended it with a champion shambler? Ah! That's pretty true, Bear. That's a good point, Bear. Oh, no. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. If if they're nice to me, if they being the game are, are, are nice to me here for the remainder of this dungeon, if I can get an easy third grain sack, maybe. That's a fun bear optimal. This team's not shambling material. We do have a retribution. I dare you to skip a content shambler because you never would. As the fiend well, now falls, I'm, I'm very conflicted. Faint hope blossoms. Uh, let's endure that. Max level endure is friggin' incredible. Very, very good skill. Oh, I have uh, hands from the abyss equipped. I need to fix that. That ain't it. I need a weakening curse here, actually. I'm a huge advocate for disallowing the ghoul from howling twice in the same fight. Let's actually just eliminate the ghoul from existence. How about I'm going to go ahead and sign that petition to make it so he, he doesn't exist anymore. Ringing ears, blurred vision, yeah. and approaches. Thank goodness for the bolster there, man. It's helping out a lot. Holy s'mores. You know, for more than you got. God damn. Come on, Arby. Big shot. Ah, so tanky. Sheesh. So much HP. That's fucked up. That that is. That is pretty fucked up, dude. For you to do that three times in one battle, I'm gonna have to talk to the authorities. I'm calling the police. And you're going to jail. Mortality clarified in a single strike. If you kill this flagellant here, you're going to super jail. Don't you freaking dare. Oh, yeah, well, he's dead to the bleed at least. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. What if this ghoul is the police? Oh fuck. Come on now. Come on now, grain sack. The match is show yourself. A blazing star is born. Sanguinate time? Wow, that'll work. He's healed. Yeah, I'm here. Man. Welcome back to champion where Chances are made up and the damage doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, this is certainly a nice pair of fights to start off with. They could have done much worse. They're not being very nice. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. As far as the way they're actually playing out. Come on now. Ah, that's obnoxious. 20 stress, sheesh. You gotta stop. Ghoul Police does sound like an Adult Swim series. One million percent, yeah. That I would watch happily. 
on name alone. Continue the onslaught. Thank goodness. Destroy them all. Thank you very much. Let me get a let me get a battlefield bandage in there too, huh? One more. Love that endure, man. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Two portraits. Sweet. Thank you. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Oh boy, alright, here we go. He means business. We're messing around. Good, good. Let's go ahead and bolster here. Additional dodge. And mark the skeever. Love it. Oh, man, they have got a lot of hit points over there, dude. Okay, okay. That's good for us. That's especially good for us. No stun, please. That would be really bad. Thank you. Yeah, I need her damage here for sure. Nice bleed. Big bleed on the skeever. Damn. Not to mention the one with the pig, too. Really good. Debuff to dodge is fine. No disease there is good. Probably going to be a cripple them. A spit to roast is fine with me. Yeah, especially if you leave them on bare optimal for it. Appreciate that. Oh, the stun sucks. That's all right, I guess, though. Come on, fix them up. I gotta swap my friggin' hands from the abyss, too. I keep forgetting about that. I bandage this. Ooh. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Uh, stress starting to pile up a little here, too. Let's go ahead and get that retribution off on the skeever. Probably don't need to bandage that just yet. Let's get a big shot. Big shot. Big shot. Not bad. Free damage. I think we can find that somewhere. I hope we can find that somewhere. Apparently not. Crap. Wow, that sucked. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Oh wow, that sucked. There we go. All right, dead to bleed. We get the retribution reset here. Uh, it's actually going to go for a bit. Let's just go ahead and defend her. Battlefield bandage on herself. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Miss it? Hey, all right. A little sanguine for the boy. He's got it covered. He's got it taken care of. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and let this bleed play out, unless that stacks it. Looks like we're good though. Oh, if that stacks though, yeah, definitely should get rid of it. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Head to the bleed up front. Not too bad there. Take rid or uh, yeah, take luck with that. Very good. Low in the bleed resist too, aren't they? Oh, it's the healing received. Okay. Wow. Fourteen heal off the battlefield bandage is crazy. Her death by inches. That's really nice. There we go. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Good God, I need candy today. It, it's kind of driving me crazy because I, on Sunday, I was eating some Mike and Ike and my inlay and my tooth came out with a piece of it. So as you might imagine, I haven't had too much candy since then. But first of all, I suppose this is making me aware of the fact that I've got a bit of an addiction. If I'm getting this bad of a craving three days removed. Boy, I could go for some more Mike and Ike, despite the fact that I just destroyed my mouth with them. Yeah, I went to get it fixed yesterday, but they told me I need a crown instead of an inlay now. And that's going to cost $1,000. Yay! Yay! Yeah, that was a fun surprise. 
That's all right, though. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, damn. Nice. Um, yeah. There you go. Go ahead and get rid of the debuff, I guess. Or not. Whatever you want. And... Uh, I guess I could camp here. It doesn't feel great. Oh, there's the quest location, though. Okay, yeah, we can totally camp here. Shuffle! close in tenuous firelight. Hey, man, thank you for the raid. Easy companionship. Just in time for a little camp out. Welcome, raiders. Thank you, Shuffle, for the raid. Please give him a follow. A little exclaim shout out for Shuffle, please, mods, if you don't mind. We are currently taking on our very first champion dungeon of this Blood Moon campaign here in the original Darkest Dungeon, which I'm sure y'all are pretty familiar with. Thoughts on the obvious news ROR2 Merc skin? Yeah, no, I knew you'd be just as pumped about that as I was. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, obviously the new game mode is pretty, pretty hype. Uh, the return of the Crimson Court enemies as well, assumingly. Definitely looking forward to that. Oh, bad news bear, thank you very much for the thousand bits as well. A thousand bits for your thousand teeth, Mr. Bear. That'll help. I appreciate it. And I need to get all one thousand teeth fixed. As the light gains oh, thank purchase, you, Ark, yeah. Spirits are lifted. Keep forgetting that. And purpose is made clear. Here we go. Holy shit! Treasure could staunch the flow of oh man! Otherworldly corruption. <laughs> Hello, Champion Dungeon. You've been holding out on me, huh? All right. Let's get some heirloom shit. I don't think I need these shovels anymore, do I? Yeah, damn, nice. Keep the crest too. Fuck it, why not? Wow. That's awesome. Might as well use this bandage too. Yeah, there we go. This is week 57, I want to say, so we're getting there as far as the time limit is concerned. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. That was a rough trap. Yeah, we are into the champion stuff now, though, like I just said, so thankfully we're... I'm feeling like we're on pace, at least. There we go. Wow, nice. Dungeon finished. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Okay. Now it must be carried home. Now we debate... Nothing. We leave. We take the win. Because that's a huge win. Double benefit. The town may eat, and the swine will not. Look at all them heirlooms, dude. Those alone. Sheesh. And then we're going to get ourselves four level six heroes out of it. God damn. Yeah, we ain't fighting the Shambler, dude. We're taking the W. A modest offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. It's fine with me. All right, let's get rid of these diseases here. Thank you on the worries. How are the quirks looking on you? Night blindness, calm. Not that bad. Shocker's not great, but I don't know if I can spend money removing negative quirks like that right now. What I need to do, speaking of money, you know what? With that many busts, I bet you, I bet you we're closing in. That's not quite going to be there. I can get 22 more portraits. I could probably trade my crests, too, actually. I don't know if it's worth it. I think I'd rather try to get some more portraits uh, organically here. We're doing okay on money for now, anyway. Especially if we don't go in another champion dungeon. Let's see if the Swine King. No Arbalist available for this fight. We do have a Musketeer, though. Which is effectively the same thing. Ah, uh, she's only ranked 2, though. Shrieker, nice stream ender. You know, you're not wrong about that, I guess. Your insistence might have finally paid off. F it, dude. Let's get Erd out in the mix. Our tough, steady bounty hunter. Something like this. Honestly, looks pretty good. 
Confirmed I threw a run to a shrieker before. I, I am... Uh, uh, far from infallible here. Yeah, I think I think my odds of doing the same are pretty high, in fact. Can you explain having two antiquarians? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nope. Not really necessary. Hmm. I think they're going to be just fine. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna handle this. I think we're gonna get our trinkets back. Last check for blacksmith and guild here. Good to go there. Birds all fully ranked up, of course. Could go weakening curse. Seems like a decent idea. I need to improve our pull chance on that. Oh, doesn't the Shrieker have a ton of dodge? Isn't that a thing? I'm gonna gamble on that. I feel like we might benefit there. It has like 60. Okay, so we're actually bringing a pretty well-suited team for this, it turns out, then. With the Sniper's Mark and the uh, Vulnerability Hex. Not to mention the Bounty Hunter can take advantage of the Mark target. So this works out pretty well. I think I'm going to swap him to his uppercut as well. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Got good healing in this squad. I'm going to level up my sniper shot too. Okay, okay. Does Burb have stealth? Well, if it does, we're ready for it. No need for survivalist here, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we don't camp in this one. Let's get some damage. Combo trinkets for you. You know what you're going to rock here for sure. And then I think I need to give this Arbalist the accuracy and the crit chance again. I think that worked out really well last time, even though the dodge is going to suffer. And there's my music cue. Right on time. Here we go. I'm not going to eat food. All right, we have free provisions. Might as well bring in everything. Give me all of it. There we go. Here we go. Here's where I throw the run. It was, it was going so well. <laughs> if only I hadn't decided to do this. What a shame. Hey, buddy. All of the bleed, all of the blight resists, some of the bleed. And then I don't remember what the deal is with the nest. I'm not gonna worry about it. I like to lower the bleed resist to begin with. The DOT is probably gonna be difficult to use effectively as well. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and take a chance, I guess. That's pretty lucky. Okay. So far, so good. Shrieker in the front now. Okay. Unfortunate. Yeah, Mark's obviously going to be very difficult to utilize effectively, given the fact that it's got three actions per turn. I do still feel like it's worth it to go for, though, especially because I can benefit from it on two characters, so we really just need one to get in there. Like this. There we go. This is a really good start. I'm gonna bleed on him as well. Okay. There's resistance. I think I'll try this again. He's lowered dodge already. He still has the mark for one round there. Lower dodge still. No worries. Uh, apparently there's a lot of disease chance in here. We'll pop that, I guess. A devastating blow. That was pretty good. Yeah, keep hitting the flagellant. Fine with me. Another big bleed. OK, 
Okay. Big time dodge. It's going to be a buff to speed. Not really a problem. 18% chance to hit, though, now. Yikes. That sucks. Oh, it's dead. Yay. A victory. <laughs> Perhaps the turning point. Cool. That went well. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Got all my stuff back. Not even that good of stuff. Two good things. <laughs> Neat. A couple of diseases, too. Oh, nice. Corvid's Eye. A flat plus eight accuracy for Erd is outstanding. We should lock that in, dude. Very good. There is a great horror beneath the manor. Hey, buddy. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Man. Real quick. I'll tell you what. I think this is worth it. Oh, boy. That's expensive. Oh, can I reduce this cost? I can. I think. Actually, I don't know if that even reduces the cost of that. Hmm. Eh, I could just not take him out for a little while, too, and not risk losing it that way. Get rid of the tapeworm on him. Yeah, we got a lot of garbage common trinkets out of that. I could very happily sell. A second candle of life. No need for that. Warrior's Bracer, Dodge Stone, Disease Charm. Yeah, lots of garbage down here. That feels a lot better. I feel like I could do one more today, in fact. That went really quickly. Swine King? Second Legendary Bracer? Fuck it, let's go. I'm in. Nadiance. We'll do Cerulean here. Weyra. And Joe. Nice. Good team. Focus Ring Legendary combo up front. Weyra gonna be a little more defensive oriented here. Jester, I think I'm going to go ahead and give you a little more damage. Actually, let's give you the Feather Crystal. Hmm. And the Lantern. Yeah, I like that. Give me his head. I think I'll actually give you the Crescendo Box. I'll give her the Lantern. There we go. Oh, she's deadly, too. I didn't even realize that. That's cool. Warren Scrounger here as well. Nice. Quick check in the Blacksmithing Guild again. Maybe we get a little upgrading to do on this squad. Man, we are really making some headway here. We got the good box. We got all the boxes, brother. No box left behind. Okay. Let's go with the extra bleed here. It's the bleed chance. I don't know if that's even really worth it. I need another antiquarian run, student, dude. Sheesh. Running low on cash again. I gotta get that damn bank built. Let's do it. Ignoring Rallying Flare on the Swine King. Or Swine... Yeah, Swine King here. Probably not a super smart play. But when am I known for that? A little more DOT, a little more DOT, full stack of shovels, a little bit of herbs, a couple of keys. What's the worst that could happen? My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Bear, you could, you could get, you get them all killed, Bear. That's what could happen. A nameless abomination. 
A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Did you remember that that was a possibility? Before you hit go? I'm assuming so. Honestly, usually that just fuels you further. Good old Ancestor's Lantern, dude. Goddamn. Ah, oh, I need to change these skills, too. I forgot. Let me get this Harvest back in here. You're certainly going first. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Stun action up front. Oh, Quickly the tide turns. Hi Baron, last YouTube vid in the farmstead, you used some mark, but pretty much ignored it completely on the bounty hunter. Okay. Is there <laughs> Is there more? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, was it like for stalling purposes? Nah, I'm sure it was just a good one. Sure I just wasn't paying enough attention. The wounds of war can be healed. Miss it? Hidden. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I really was just... I wasn't prepared for you to just leave it hanging like that. Their See you. formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. See you. Oh, baby. That's a lot more damage than I expected from her, actually. Damn. Go legendary. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. Ooh, yay. They can be beaten. I like that a lot. Let me get rid of... We got some pretty bad ones. Huh. I think probably you. You're getting a lot of stress from these things. Yeah, let's give her some help with that. All right, yeah, we gotta swap these off as well. I'm gonna keep the finale actually keep the harvest available too yeah this shield breaker is looking really nice i gotta remember when i've got the snakes here though we find victory which is gonna be an issue in fact i think i should just not camp before the fight and then if we're in good enough shape maybe we can deal with the fight afterward but i think we can sacrifice our uh devastating blow well then again that would be a pretty big penalty i wonder what's because it's like a near guaranteed resolve check for the shield breaker, right? If you end up doing that snake fight. I don't know if I'd prefer to have that or if I'd prefer to have... Well, like, it's either you take the camping buff so he's, she's also got the resolve check, which could be good, to be fair. It could be a good one. You either do that or you get no buffs, but no snake ambush. Cuts on its own. Tough call. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Hey, Henry. About to take on a swine king. That's what's going on. We're kind of crushing it today, too, man. This campaign's been going real good lately. Very pleased with it. Crushed a shrieker a few minutes ago. Got some trinkets back. We've really just fully righted the ship, haven't we? We had a few setbacks, but the over the last few struck. weeks, a blazing star is born. We have been picking up the scattered pieces of this campaign. Got back on track. Um, I don't know, man. Just go. I think. Yeah, fuck it. The light, the promise of safety. Keeping that kind of energy, huh? Why, why stop what's working? Let's do it. It is a travesty, a blundering mountain of hatred and Alrighty. rage. Let's get some battle ballads going on these guys. I'm pretty sure he can bleed pretty the well, yeah. Quickens. That is an ideal target. We don't have Serpent Sway, unfortunately. I definitely should have equipped that, I just realized, but oh well. Oh, I can blight him too. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. And the bleed out. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Big damage to start with on this guy. Nice. What do you got? Ah, it's not too bad. It hurts, but it's manageable. So long as we don't get repeated stuns on our healer here. Hopefully get a couple of crits going. 
Really wish I had Serpent Sway now. I'm feeling pretty silly about that. I guess I should go ahead and give her what we can from this. Captivate's pretty damn good. DLT does appear to be king here. And is having quite the impact so far. Okay, that's fine. No stun, please. No stun, please. Thank you. Let's keep the bleeds coming. Looking good. Good target for that, too. Yeah, he's spreading it all around again. Big crit from the shield breaker. Nice. Heal her up. Bleed him out. Yeah, I'd be sick if you could use an herb on that, but that's fine. Well struck. She is just dealing immense damage with that move. Holy shit. Be nice. Thank you. Okay. Minus 40% damage. Yeah, seriously. That's insane. Hmm. Okay, that might be an issue. Gotta heal her up again. Another big DOT. Nice. Oh, she's fine now. Yeah, damn. Hellion's looking good. Very nearly dead to DOT. Got the extra stun resist that time. He's gone. No problem, dude. Even let her get that debuff gone. Eh, I guess I should wait. Holy cow. That was a killer heal. Alright, time to die to Wilbur. Classic play. Dude, this has been this has been the story of our summer, man. This has just been a easy coast to victory lately. The ground quakes. Nice little stress heal off that. That's getting topped off again, sure. Oh, squealing. He loves his stuns. We love our Wilbur, don't we, folks? Wilbur. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Double vengeful greaves, huh? That's fun. Snag that, snag that, snag that. And we're good. No problem. Yeah, well, let's kill some snakes. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. I think we can handle it. An uneasy companionship. Armor piercing for all. A little uh, blight resistance for her seems like a smart idea. And then we'll give her the protection and max HP as well, because she's almost certainly going to be focused pretty heavily here. Um, Tiger's Eye wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I think we'll go that route. Get a tiger's eye to the uh, to the shield breaker. Yeah, sure. Give her all the buffs. Why not? And now the darkness holds dominion. Oh, black as death. Oh, no snakes. But this is terrible. This is definitely not what I wanted. Those don't look. Yeah, they don't look much like snakes at all. Well, shit. Mm, a nasty shuffle, too. Mm, pretty lucky avoiding the uh, curse so far, at least. Snakes would have been better, yeah, easily. Would have much preferred the snake fight here. Those are pretty effective in Pale, at least, though. That certainly helps out. Alright, then the DLT up front. Don't you dare. Don't you dare on your last point of health. Okay. Oh, he's still alive though now, shit. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Alright, a little battle ballad at least. Let's see if we can pop a stun on this guy. Nice. 
Finish the job? I'll do it. A death by inches. And with the armor piercing, might be enough. Not quite, not quite. Did avoid the thirst for now, though. I just gotta hope that we get one action before he goes. Ah, not that one, though. Fuck. I got what I asked for. I just didn't realize what I was asking for. There we go. Obliterated. Beautiful. And you know what? Surgical precision. If I get the curse here, I deserve it. I'm willing to take a chance, try to get a little more stress healing done. Hell yeah. When the bear greed pays off. Love it. Top everybody off. Why not? Well done. Press this advantage. Give them no. Oh snap! When the bear greed pays off. Oh, let's go. A couple of portraits and a tapestry. That's perfect. All right, get the hell out of here. That is a way to wrap up the day. And a legendary bracer on top of that. Absolutely perfect. Level 5 for Joe. Nearly level 4 for our Vestal there. Some pretty decent quirks, too. Awesome. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. What a way to wrap up, man. That feels pretty great. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed some more Darkest Dungeon in the Blood Moon campaign. If you're watching over on YouTube, likes on the video go a great length. I really appreciate the support in that regard. Big shout out yet again to all the YouTube members. Thank you very much for the support there as well. You're getting the early access VODs over there on YouTube. If you sign up for the bear pile on YouTube and get a little icon in your comments as well next to your name. It's fun. Thanks for the support. Our Bellatro tournament final is tomorrow, Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific here live on Twitch. If you'd like to join us for that, it's very exciting. Looking forward to the competition. Otherwise, more Blood Moon to come. We'll be diving back into DD2 as well, checking out that new game mode. Lots more fun stuff to come here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you then.